As we're getting going, more and more of this thing will be backed up in multiple places for faults in terms of technology, but also political faults. I mean, the Library of Alexandria was burned. Yeah. So um, we need to be able to preserve our digital history in multiple places under different regimes. So basically, it, since these things require attending, every 10 years you've got to move it forward to the next generation of technology, or it dies. You, it, it dies. So you need an organization to keep it going, and I will endow the organization with enough money to keep the bits alive forever. So any bits that are donated to the Internet Archive, I will make sure has the money for every 10 years will keep it alive. But right now there are no institutions that are doing large-scale digital collections. And so we're, I think, the first that is starting to build the core collection that can become a digital library. Could we make it so that all the published works of humankind could be available to anybody wanting to have access? That was the opportunity of the internet and, the, uh, and our digital revolution from my perspective and what I signed on to go and help build. We started with the most fragile media, the World Wide Web, then went on to television in the year 2000, books in about 2000, 2001, then there's user contributions from all over the place. We've done microfilm and LPs and CDs and 78s. The idea is to make it so that all the riches of the published works of humankind, from Sumerian tablets to the newest Instagram whatever, would be available to anybody that wanted to have access. That's the dream. That's what we're, our mission has been for 25 years every day of that 25 years.